Well, hello everyone. I have a lot of um, clad for make um, circuit boards. I have a many different sizes, but I have at least 40 of this size. <clears throat> First of all, let me tell you, they have the scratches in both sizes. The reason is because they've been um, stuck one each other, one to the top to each other without a paper sheet or something. But let me tell you, when I pass my hand through, I don't feel anything. You know, the sensitive of the fingertips is 0 0.001. And I don't feel anything in the scratches. In other words, where you create your your circuit board, those details don't gonna affect at all. Another thing, I not try to clean it or make it shiny to sell it because the copper is very thin. It's perhaps two or three thousand of an inch and the ones that I have is double side this one for example is 8 inches width by 6 inches wide and is uh, FR4 the people to know what is that mean to FR4 is the glass reinforcement epoxy. Yes, that's all. That's what it means. FR4 glass reinforced epoxy laminating sheet. This one is one eighth in thickness is one eighth thick is very heavy this one piece itself is half a pound okay I notice in eBay that a lot of people sell them and they charge too much for shipping or I don't know what they have in mind but you know in order to take advantage of shipping you have to buy several pieces to putting in a medium flat rate box because if you buy a piece individually due to the weight it will cost um, more money this one if I put this one in an envelope like this I have to charge like three dollars for shipping But if you buy as many pieces as you want to fit either in a small in a small flat rate box don't fit, won't fit because it's wider than the small flat rate box USPS. That's what I consider in the medium flat rate box. And you can buy as many as you want and I just only want to charge $12.50 for shipping 
in the medium flat rate box because those medium flat rate box supposed to be up to 70 pounds of weight I never want to take advantage of the shipping I hate when somebody sells some to me and they ask for so much for shipping they're new definitely but what I said they've been stuck one each on top of the other one each other without a uh, paper sheet and they have a a lot of tiny scratches here and there but once again I give you I very honest I don't feel anything at all in my hand when I passing through so when you made your circuit board that is not gonna fit at all and you have you know the FR4 glass reinforcements is basically the insulation this is what it is and this is double side so <clears throat> I want to sell every single piece for four dollars and you have to to let me know how many pieces you want once again eight by six inches by one eight thick including the bolt sizes plus the epoxy glass reinforced epoxy let's call that way instead FR4 which is more complicated <coughs> So anyway, I want to start with those and I have a larger ones, I have many sizes, but if you need a custom pieces, let me know and I able to cut them at the size you want and uh, you know, try to put in a in a flat rate box, medium flat rate box, because it's the only way you could take advantage of about the shipping cost. Once again, if I you want just one piece like this, you have to pay four dollars and three dollars for shipping. If you want two. I'm able to put the two pieces inside to the envelope but and then it's gonna be more the, the 13 ounces which is the minimum for first class mail and then it's going to the different value so two pieces maybe cost six seven dollars for shipping if you want it in half or if you want it as smaller pieces just please let me know I start with this one with what I said is one eight inch thick both size copper clad is crashing yes you see right there is not clean like some what I see in eBay but let me tell you this is not gonna be affected at all when you design your circuit board because when you make the cuts everything is gonna be separate I mean So four dollars each piece and three dollars individually but if you want many pieces please email me and I give you the best possible 
the cheapest possible way to send it to you to don't pay too much for shipping thank you for watching and I will try to take some pictures to reveal exactly what it looks like everyone has different scratches this one is here so you wanna see some other one with lines in a circle and and something like this but once again I mean the fingers doesn't tell me and doesn't make me feel anything I could sand them and make it looks very nice and shine but if I do that if I do that I going to uh, the integrity of the tiny coat of copper will be in a risk of integrity so I don't clean them I know they have some powders to clean them and make them nicer but I'm the hon I'm very honest and I tell you this will be great for your design circuit board design so thank you for watching I will take some pictures and uh, I have to put this one four dollars and three dollars for shipping but I want to try to set more than one available so if you want more than one you can buy as many as you want I I believe I have about 40 or 50 pieces same size and uh, they could be after let me tell you um, six seven ounces um, since one five pieces like this will be cost about eight to nine dollars for shipping but if you buy 20 pieces or 30 you don't want to pay more than 12.50 at long fit in a medium flat rate box USPS for 1250 and I said 1250 because the price of the medium flat rate box is ten dollars eighty five cents now they increase the price this year and the other couple boxes for the packaging and handling I live in a village in the East Mountains in New Mexico when I have to drive quite a few miles to get to the postal office so I wanna I wanna put this one for sale what I said four dollars three dollars for shipping and uh, email me if you want a specific sizes and I can cut on them for free I don't charge at all for for the cutting cost so thank you for watching and I will take some picture as well thank you